Hey, good morning, folks. Uh, I'm Devin Henry on the communications team here at Deed. Thank you for uh, joining us today to talk about our uh, jobs numbers announcement. Uh, thank you for accommodating a different date today as well. Um, so we appreciate you being here. We'll turn it over to Commissioner Matt Verilak very soon here to, to uh, start the presentation. Just wanted to remind you that if you have uh, any microphones, please mute them, of course. And if you have any um, technological problems, uh, feel free to reach out to my colleague Dawn, um, dropping her uh, or we'll drop her um, email address in the chat here shortly. In the meantime, here uh, is Commissioner Verilek. Hey, everybody. So yes, once again, I am Matt Verilek, the Commissioner of Deed as of June. And so this is, I believe, my second monthly jobs numbers release. I wasn't able to join you last week, but thanks to our colleagues for handling the call in my absence. Um, I am excited to be back in Minnesota again after a great trip to Japan. I accompanied the governor, lieutenant governor, and others on the recent trade mission to Japan. One of the things we touted there was the fact that we have now uh, nearly 50 Japanese companies that operate subsidiaries in Minnesota. And over time, they have invested billions of dollars in Minnesota. When the governor made what I think was his first a foreign trip as governor that was in 2019 also to Japan and at that time I think we had closer to 35 companies so now with 50 uh, we see nice growth it's a nice trend uh, in terms of engagement of those companies in our state and then being there and having the opportunity to visit multiple of those businesses uh, and to thank them for their investment here and to inquire how we can help to foster continued growth in employment of Minnesotans uh, I really got to see the impact of those trips firsthand. There is an enormous appreciation uh, for the gesture of showing up physically uh, at their locations there and, and showing that appreciation. So overall, uh, really a, a high impact trip and um, excited though at the end of it to be back now in Minnesota, as I mentioned. So with that, let's jump into the latest jobs data for the month of August, because as always, we are here in the month of September uh, speaking of the prior month's numbers. So with today's release of new data, we are pleased to be marking now six straight months of steady labor force growth because 3,225 people joined the state's labor force, uh, many of them right into jobs and some of them looking for employment. With that increase in the number of people joining the labor force, our unemployment rate ticked up one-tenth of a point to 3.1 percent in August. At the national level, for comparison, the unemployment rate went up three-tenths of a point to 3.8. So again, Minnesota 3.1, national 3.8. When it comes to labor force participation, the Minnesota rate held steady over the month at 68.5 percent. And again, for comparison to the national level, uh, that is 62.8 percent nationally, which is up two tenths from July. So again, 68.5 Minnesota, 62.8 nationally. So continued labor force growth is great news for Minnesota employers. We of course continue to hear daily about the challenges employers are facing in finding the workers they need in our tight labor market, reflecting strong demand for uh, the goods and services produced by Minnesota companies. So it's good news that again this month, the labor force has increased with thousands more Minnesotans preparing for and finding employment. And I'll add that, of course, DEED and our workforce development partners remain very active in helping both employers and job seekers to meet their employment goals. It's also worth noting that September is Workforce Development Month, so that is a time when we celebrate the work being done by DEED staff, as well as all of our partners across the state who are working to connect job seekers with employers. Um, and I would say, of course, DEED staff and our local workforce development area staff at Career Force are key to these efforts. Uh, we consider it all to be critically important. And thanks to the historic new investments coming out of the last legis legislative session, we have more tools and more resources than ever to help people get prepared for in-demand career path employment. And in the weeks and months ahead, we'll continue sharing information about new initiatives and funding opportunities aimed at addressing these issues. Moving now to the jobs picture, uh, the numbers out today show that Minnesota had a net gain of 4,400 jobs from July to August. And those 4,400 jobs on net were all in the private sector, 
Uh, private sector employment in particular grew 4,800 over the month net, and government actually lost 400 jobs. Job growth in both the US and Minnesota specifically were 0.1% overall in August. Uh, it's worth noting though that Minnesota's private sector growth grew at 0.2%, which outpaced the national figure at 0.1%. So with that, I will hand things over to Assistant uh, Labor Market Information Office Director, Oriane Casal for more detail. Oriane, over to you. Thank you, Commissioner. Um, I'm going to go over some of the same things that the commissioner um, just uh, walked through, um, but uh, maybe a more visual uh, version of them. So as this graph shows, the unemployment rate ticked up one-tenth of a point to 3.1% with the addition of 3,415 unemployed workers. Uh, the number of total um, Payroll jobs rose 4,400 or 0.1% with the private sector up 4,800 or 0.2% over the month. Breaking that down by industry, construction, manufacturing, education and health services, leisure and hospitality and other services all saw increases in jobs over the month. Um, while trade, transportation and utilities, information, financial activities, professional and business services, and government saw decreases, mining and logging remained flat over the month. Um, and you can move to the next slide. This is our slide uh, uh, of labor force. So the labor force continued to increase for the sixth straight month, up 3,225 workers. The labor force participation rate held steady at 68.5%. Uh, next slide. So over the year, total payroll employment rose 1.6% with the private sector up 1.4%. Manufacturing lost 2,200 jobs, financial activities lost 3,900 jobs, and professional and business services lost 3,300 jobs over the year, but all other sectors gained jobs over the year with the strongest gains in education and health services up 19,500 jobs and leisure and hospitality up 11,700 jobs. And the last slide is on wages. Um, in Minnesota, the average hourly, er average hourly earnings rose 3% over the year in August compared to 4.2% nationally. Um, and the inflation, inflation uh, based on the CPI uh, rose 3.7%. Industries with the strongest wage growth in August included construction up 5.6%, ambulatory health care up 5.4%, nursing and residential care up 5.1%, and finance and insurance up 5.1%. And I think we're going to um, take your questions now. Yeah, absolutely. If anybody has any questions, feel free to raise your hand or drop them in the chat and we'll, uh, we'll call on you. And certainly if there are no questions, that's fine as well. Um, we can we can certainly close it right here and uh, you all have the uh, press release that we sent earlier. If you don't, please let me know. Uh, my email address, devin.henry at state.mn.us. We'll take any follow-ups that way as well. Um, I'll turn it over to Commissioner Verilek for a close. And if anybody has any questions before we uh, officially end the meeting, as I said, raise that hand and we'll, we'll call on you. Commissioner? Yeah, we just give it a beat and see if anything else strikes anyone. And hearing none, um, in that case, I will just say thanks everybody for joining. And uh, we are pleased to see the labor force growth. Uh, the job growth as well is positive news and, and these uh, continue some positive trends we've seen lately. If you need more details, please check out the Labor Market Information Office, as well as Economic Analysis Office resources uh, that are available on the DEED website. And I'm not sure if uh, Devin may have already put that link in the chat, but um, if you contact Devin or anyone else on the team, they should be able to get it to you. So thanks again, everybody.